thing that we need to do if we're going to show these inequalities on graphs is to draw the lines that we need to draw them. So the first line that we're going to need to draw is 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. And the easiest way to do that is to find y when x is 0. Now, when x is 0, 2x will also be 0. 3y equals 12, so y is 4. And also, we're going to find the value of x when y is 0. And if y is 0, that's the second coordinate, 3y will be 0. We're left with 2x is equal to 12, so x must be 6. Now, if you plot those on the graph, we've got 0, 4, which is here, and we've got 6, 0, which is here. And I'm just going to join those with a straight line. Here we go from there to there. OK, so that is the line that where um, 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. Now, to make the inequality, we want the side of the line where 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 12. So this is the side we want. So I'm going to shade out the opposite side of the line. So I'm going to shade all of this. We don't want any of this region over here. OK, let's just get rid of that. OK, second line that we're going to draw is going to be 2x plus y is equal to 8. So 2x plus y is equal to 8. We'll use the same method. So when x is 0, well, if x is 0, this is 0, so y is going to be 8. And if y is equal to 0, that's, this has disappeared, 2x is 8, so x is 4. So this second line then goes through 0, 8, which is here, and 4, 0, which is here. And if I just draw that straight line, OK, so joining from there to there. Now, again, the side of the line that we need is where 2x plus y is less than or equal to 8. So we want this side of the line. So I'm going to sh so we want this side of the line. So I'm going to shade out. Let's use a different color. So I'm going to shade out this side. We don't need any of this side of the line. OK. And the last two inequalities, y greater than or equal to 0, well, the x-axis is just the same as y equals 0. And if we want y to be greater than 0, we want the part above the line. And in the same way, we've got x is greater than or equal to 0. So the y-axis is where x is equal to 0. So we could shade out this side of the y-axis, which leaves me this is my feasible region. The question now says, find the maximum value of x plus 3y. So we are going to try to find the maximum value of x plus 3y. Now, you could guess which corner of the graph this actually means, but the easiest way is to draw a line. And the easiest way to do that is to draw a line which is parallel to our maximizing line. And I'm going to choose a number that 1 and 3 both go into. So let's use 6. So if x plus 3y is equal to 6, OK, if x is 0, then 3y will be 6, so y will be 2. And if y is 0, that means that x will be 6. So I'm just going to plot that. So there is 0, 2. There is 6, 0. If I join those, and I'll do it in a different colored line so you can see it a bit more clearly. Um, let's do a red line. Oh, let's just change it to orange. And let's just draw the line. So the line that we're talking about goes from there to there. Now, what I can do, what I'm trying to try to do, is maximize or make as large as possible the value of x plus 3y. So I'm going to take that line, and I'm going to move it as far away as possible from the origin. Now, I can actually see, if I keep it parallel, I'm just going to make it, let's make it a bit longer so it's a bit clearer. Um, uh, let's go back to the original. OK, so it goes through 2, 0. And it goes through 0, um, zero 02 and zero 06. If I move it around, OK, you can see that the furthest that I can get away from the origin, it's not actually there. It's here at this point here. So this is the furthest that I can get from the origin with a line which remains parallel to x plus 3y is equal to 6. takes me up to that corner, so up to here. OK, so the point that I'm talking about is here which is the point that has coordinates 0, 4. So at that point there is where I'm going to get the maximum value of x plus 3y. And when x is 0 and y is 4, then the maximum value, which is what we of x plus 3y, is going to be 0 plus 3 times 4, which is 12. So the maximum possible value of x plus 3y is 12.